Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and today we're taking a look at a couple of the great new features inside of Adobe Photoshop CS5. Now, one of the things that I find myself having to do often is extract images to separate layers. And with Photoshop CS5, that's gotten a lot easier. Let's check it out. I've got a layer here, and I want to go ahead and take this bear and pull it out from the background. So one of the tools I'll often turn to is going to be the Quick Selection tool, which actually did come out in CS4, but it's gotten significantly better. Watch this. I'll go ahead and sort of drag through here and make a basic selection, and that Quick Selection tool does a good job of finding edges. You can go ahead and drag and pick up a little bit more, and if it gets an area you don't want, you just hold down the Option key or Alt key and you could subtract. And that does a nice job there. We've cleaned that up pretty well. There we go. Just get a little more. Good. Now, we've got the ability to refine this selection very interactively. If I click Refine Edge, a new window is going to open up. And what's cool here is you've got the ability to view your selection all sorts of ways. Marching ants as an overlay mask. I often like to look at this on black or white. It just makes it easier to see what's happening. And what's cool is if you need to, you can actually paint here to make little adjustments so it refines. And as we start to paint over the edge, it starts to clean up the hair and the transition point. So if we define what's an edge, notice how it's going through and doing a nice job decontaminating there. So we'll just trace that little bit of an edge there. And when I release, you'll see how it picks up the hair nicely. So that does a great job. You've, of course, got the ability to do a smart radius and twirl that in a bit. It's going to touch it up. If I hold down the Option key, I could touch that up a little bit more. That's looking great. Feather that as needed. And when satisfied, I can click OK. And I've got a great selection. Notice it pulled it out and automatically masked it to its own layer. So that was really quite cool. But sometimes when you extract an object, you want to do things like 3D motion control, which is a cool title we're actually working on here at Creative Cow as part of the Master Series. And to do this, you have to explode the image into layers, having your selected object with sort of the background here. So if I go ahead and actually load this selection and take a look at the background, watch this. I'll just expand that a little bit. Let's do a 10 pixel expansion. And then we could press Shift Delete to bring up the fill dialog. And I'll say use a content aware fill. When you do that, it analyzes the neighboring pixels and actually comes up with new pixels to fill the hole. And depending upon your image, it's going to be either perfect or significantly better, a great starting point for cloning. So you see there, that's pretty amazing. We barely have any of that bear in there. If I grab that tool there, I could actually just undo. And what I'll say is, is let's undo that and expand that just a little bit more. We'll say expand that 20 pixels. And now we'll fill that in with content aware. And we'll get less of the edge of the bear. Thanks just a moment. There we go, and that is amazing. Notice how good of a job that did. And you can always just take your healing brush or spot healing brush, which also has content aware, and brush over any seams that you need to, like I'm doing here, and notice how that just completely cleans up any noticeable area where that once was. If necessary, you can always grab the stamp tool and clone in a little bit more to fill in things, but again, this goes from either being perfect or a really great start to an extraction job. So now we've got the bear and the background split out into separate layers, and you're ready to take into After Effects to start to do 3D camera moves. This is just one of the several things that we're developing additional training on here at Creative Cow, and be sure to check out our forums where people will be talking about and sharing information on all the new features in After Effects and Photoshop CS5. For Creative Cow, my name's Rich Harrington.